In this video, we will discuss regarding the biochemistry and its importance in nursing. So, biochemistry is a branch of science which deals with the chemical reactions in the body. It is a mixing of two branches that is life sciences that is biology and uh, uh, chemistry that is chemical reactions. So it is, uh, you know, the life sciences means it consists of, it is composed of uh, the composition of the body mass and how it is going to be composed in the body, what is the function of this composition inside the body, what are, what are the chemical reactions which is taking place inside the body, all this will comes under the umbrella of uh, biochemistry. So, uh, we will uh, discuss one by one in detail regarding the definition, its importance, etc. So, we will come to the slide. Uh, here, so first the definition. So, uh, what is the, how we can define the biochemistry? When we are considering the biochemistry, the 96 percentage, the 96 percentage of the human body mass which is composed of four elements that is hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, nitrogen and most of them are in the form of water and the four percentage which is uh, the sparse sampling of the periodic table of uh, the periodic table of elements. They are carrying out many functions in the body. And we know that the major component, the major representatives of the body mass is called as the macromolecule and the minor representatives are called as uh, micromolecules. For example, carbohydrate, protein, lipids, which are the examples of macromolecules. At the same time, vitamins, minerals, which belongs to micromolecules. So they have very various functions of, they, they have various functions in the body. There are many chemical reactions in the body, which is, uh, uh, for example, transportation, uh, pH, that is acid-based maintenance of the body, electrical impulses, creation and its transportation, electrochemi electrochemical gradient. Okay, so many types, various types of um, chemical reactions are uh, taking place in the body throughout the life process, the daily basis. So, uh, it is defined as a science concerned with the chemical basis of life, that is the chemical reactions of the life. Then, the other definition, it is a study of chemistry of biomolecules and metabolic processes which constitutes our body and essential for life. So, we are not only really discussing regarding the macro and micro, but we are discussing regarding the metabolic process the building a process and the breaking down process, anabolic process and catabolism, catabolic process. So how these macro elements or macromolecules is going to be uh, metabolized in the body, absorbed in the body, how it is going to be utilized by the body. So these all are a part of chemical reactions. So that's uh, regarding the second definition. It is nothing but it is a chemistry of biomolecules and its metabolic process. And so which is going to constitute the body, which is a major, which is a main component of the body and which is very essential for the life also. So that is regarding the definition. Then we'll move to the next slide. So comes the importance. So, I can ask you the question whether it is important for the nurses to study the biochemistry. The answer is a big yes. Why? What is the importance of biochemistry in nursing? The first and foremost is that we should understand the biochemical basis of life. So, what is this biochemical basis of life? We should understand the normalcy and abnormalcy of the daily uh, functions of the body. A person who don't know regarding the normal 
abnormalities of the body, they cannot interpret the abnormalities of the body, the abnormalities of the body functioning. So here, regarding the fluid, regarding the electrolytes in the body, you know that there should be a balance in the amount or volume of the fluid in the body. They should not breach the borderline. There should not be, when there is an increased amount of fluid in the body, which can lead to overhydration, when there is a decreased amount of body, then the amount of fluid, then it can be leads to dehydration. Both condition is an indication of the disease condition or abnormality. Then the next that is the example electrolytes. So we have many types of electrolytes in the body. We have sodium, we have potassium, we have chlorine, magnesium, which carries out different process and functions in the body. Even though they should be under the control, that means they should be under the normalcy. There should not be any increase or there should not be any subnormal uh, scenario in the body. There should not be because that is an indication of disease condition. For example, in the sodium, you take the example of sodium. When there is an increased amount of sodium, which can lead to hypernatremia, which is a disease condition. And when there is a subnormal amount, can be um, learned uh, from the biochemistry, from the science of biochemical reactions. So next thing, that is metabolism, storage and catabolism of the carbohydrates, proteins and fats. See, in these, um, what we have told regarding the metabolism, many types of enzymes are taking part. So in the coming video, in the coming videos, we will discuss regarding uh, the each of the just carbohydrate, protein, fats, every components, vitamins, minerals, uh, so that we will understand. So we will come, we will uh, go to the next slide. Second one, that is interpret the biochemical diagnostic test reports. So, if you want to know, if you want to analyze or if you want to diagnose the test reports and if you want to interpret the values, you should know, you should know regarding what is the normal value of that particular concept. For example, here glucose, you should know regarding the glucose level, what is the normal glucose level. What should be the fasting? What should be the postprandial? So you know that it should be less than 100 milligram per deciliter. It is a fasting. Okay. Then after the two, uh, two hours after the food, it should be between 90 to 110 milligram per deciliter. So there is a parameters you should understand. If you don't know this, then you cannot diagnose or you cannot analyze. Okay. So that's one example. Then the cholesterol. You know that the, it should be less than 200 milligram per deciliter. This is 125 to 200 milligram per deciliter. It's a serum cholesterol level. So you should understand that what will happen when there is an increased amount of cholesterol in the body. So that is regarding the interpretation. You are going to interpret the biochemical diagnostic test report. You can interpret only one uh, only when you know regarding the normal value of that. Uh, uh, serum electrolyte, yeah, serum glucose or serum cholesterol level in the body. Third point contributes towards health promotion with biochemical aspect. So see that health promotion is one of the main component of the nursing care. So health promotion means we are going to take the patient from the abnormality to the normal level. So by having the proper knowledge regarding the biochemical changes in the body, we can take the patient from the abnormalcy to the normalcy. Okay, so that is health promotion. By giving adequate care, by uh, uh, in rectifying the problems, by giving the adequate care, by giving, uh, by, by the rectification of the problems in the biochemical reactions in the body, Okay, we can take the patient from the abnormality to the normal level. That is contributes towards health promotion with the biochemical aspect. Next slide. Carry out effective assessment and planning for nursing needs. So assessment and planning. 
so we are going to carry out the assessment and the planning we are going to plan on the basis of the needs of the patient by prioritizing the needs of the patient we should know that what is the priority need of the patient on that basis we can assess the proper plan uh, we can assess the proper need and we can plan for the proper care so a nurse who have a good knowledge regarding the biochemical reactions of the body it is easy for them to diagnose a problem and uh, to assess the problem at the same time to plan for uh, care on the priority basis the last point that is implementation of the health education based on biomedical rationalization so you see that health education is a core concept of the nursing care we are going to educate the patient regarding the disease condition their follow up care their diet plan their uh, treatment okay everything so uh, what are we are going to implement what are deli uh, in, in uh, what all the health education we are going to deliver to the patient it should be based on certain types of um, scientific base they should have a reasoning a rationale that is biomedical rationale for example in case of diabetes patient you will advise them the diet they should not take more they should not take the food which consists of more carbohydrate more glucose why because it can worsen their condition at the same time um in nephrotic syndrome we will not we will restrict them from taking the salt content diet why because the condition will become worsens okay so that is uh, what we have told that when we are giving the health education there should be a scientific backup there should be a scientific a scientific support for that particular uh, points in the health education okay so we can make the health education we can deliver the health education only if you want to make it effective then it should be based on the proper scientific uh, rational biomedical rationalization so uh, that is regarding the biochemistry and importance of biochemistry i hope you all understood uh, the concept of the biochemistry and uh, uh, the importance of biochemistry so thank you all